Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okoyemi Goddess and in this channel I talk about love, relationships, marriage, lifestyle, nursing and basically everything fun. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much guys for stopping by and for my returning subscribers, thank you so much guys for sticking to this channel. I really love you guys and I really celebrate you. So today I'm talking about ways to get over a hard breakfast or ways to basically get over a breakup quickly. So let's just get right into today's video. So the first thing you have to do to get over a breakup quickly is to allow yourself to grieve. I know a lot of people shy away from grieving. They would rather, you know, try to appear that all is going going well with them. You know, they wouldn't want anyone to know that they're actually grieving. But I want to believe that grieving itself is therapeutic. Grieving is, itself would help you, you know, to get over that breakup quickly enough. And just allow yourself to grieve properly and there's really no hard and fast rule you know about grieving people grieve in different ways grieving is an individual process there is no hard and fast rule about how you should grieve it is relative to you know different individuals so how you grieve is actually relative to you and just embrace your own grieving process don't judge yourself or don't beat yourself because you feel that the way you're grieving is kind of strange or it's different from the way you see people grieve that's your own mechanism of grieving and just allow yourself to grieve properly you know whichever way you you have to grieve if you have to cry cry don't feel bad for crying I said this a lot of times crying is very therapeutic crying makes you feel better about yourself you know when you're done crying you get up and then you feel so much better so if you have to cry cry whatever you have to do in this grieving process just do it. just ensure that you allow yourself to grieve and then grieve properly the second thing you have to do you know to get over you know your breakup you know quickly is to talk to a trusted person speak out you don't have to die in silence i know you want to pretend like everything is going on well maybe you don't even want to share with you know your family and friends that um your relationship just ended or maybe the person you're in a relationship with just um um ended the relationship and all that you may not want to share with everybody and that's fine just ensure that you speak out to a loved one speak out to your family and friends or whoever is it that you can actually confide in someone you trust so much speak to the person if you have to cry in the person's presence please to just ensure that you have a good support system around you during this period the other thing that you also have to do in order to get over a breakup fast is to ensure that you get busy so during this period you literally don't feel like doing anything you just want to sit back at home that's usually like the common thing people feel you just want to sit back at home doing nothing you want to just keep crying and crying and crying crying is okay it is perfectly okay but after a period of time you also have to get out you have to get busy you have to you know just try and do one or two things ensure you're not high do if you're high do you keep thinking about the ad break you think you keep thinking about the time the money the effort you invested in that relationship you know and then you break down again and then you start crying and then the cycle continues so don't do that to yourself once you get over you know the face of grieving just get busy find something to do you can also find new hobbies you know, find new activities that you love doing. Just get busy. Find new activities. Don't be caught idle. Because the moment you're idle, you, you are also like predisposed to stalking your hex. This is very common. Once you don't have anything doing, once you have a lot of time on your hands, you start to stalk your partner. You want to know the new um, person they're in a relationship with. You want to know if the person is pretty or handsome, as the case may be. You want to know, you know, why they would leave you for that particular person. So just get busy. If you're busy... You really won't have the time to you know stalk your partner and um, that's basically what you just need to do at this period of time stop stalking your partner and get busy find new activities um, if you don't have a job look for um, new um, skills to learn you can take some courses and if you have a job just ensure that you get engrossed with your job and also find time to you know have fun um, create memories for yourself as well that would really really help so the next thing you have to do at this point is also to rebuild yourself so you've been able to grip properly now you're busy with your life you have new hobbies you've taken you know new courses you've learned new skills you know you're going about your business you're no longer stalking your hex you also have to now rebuild yourself now in rebuilding yourself you have to work on your flaws so 
something must have le- led to the you know the breakup something w- must have led to you ending the relationship or your partner um, ending the relationship something must have led to you know the breakup itself so whatever it is that led to the breakup probably it was maybe hunger frustration bad manners whatever it is that must have ended that relationship you now have to work on those flaws so if you have issues with hunger you have to work on yourself whatever it is whatever those flaws are this is the time to now work on yourself and then get better so that you you would give your best in your next relationship you don't want to go into another relationship with those you know baggages and um all those flaws all those weaknesses that you've not worked on your your next relationship would also fall victim of that so work on yourself work on those flaws especially those flaws that ended that relationship if it was bad time management if it was negligence on your on your part if it was anger if it was lack lack of affection whatever it is that made that relationship to come to an end work on you know those you know little little things work on those flaws work on your weaknesses work on your shortcomings really because that would help you in your next relationship and that would just help you personally with your life as well because you need to get better and then you need to you need to be realistic don't lie to yourself tell yourself the truth i'm weak in this regard i'm weak in that regard this is my flaw this is my flaw these are my flaws these are my weaknesses or this is my weakness whatever it is be truthful to yourself and deliberately work on those so that would really you know go a long way in getting over your breakup easily another thing you have to do is to take care of yourself and get your grooves back so this is very common after a breakup especially a nasty breakup a lot of people just let go of themselves they don't take care of themselves anymore because you've been through a lot of things you don't even have the zeal the excitement to continue to live you probably you know end up in depression some people go as far as being suicidal like a lot of things happen to some people so just make sure that you get your grooves back after you've been able to grip properly please get your grooves back take care of yourself take care of your body take care of your appearance and please you're doing this for you you're not doing it you're doing this for the next person you'll be in a relationship with you're not even doing it doing this because you want to find a new man or you want to find a new new lady you're not even doing this because you want to be attracted to another person you're basically doing this for you you need to understand that you're doing this for you so take care of yourself take care of your body take care of your appearance if you have to get in shape get in shape if you have to um start exercising to look better do whatever it takes if you have to start eating right do it if you have to start learning how to talk properly learning how to relate with people you know people management how to you know how to manage people properly whatever it is that you need to do ensure you're taking care of yourself reward yourself go out spend money on yourself spend some time alone also spend time with family and friends this is very very essential don't let yourself go don't let yourself go a lot of people let themselves go and um, they just don't want to do anything they don't want to appear you know beautiful they just want to look shabby no please and please this is the worst thing you would do to yourself please ensure that you're looking good regardless of what you're going through you know regardless of your emotional state at that point in time make sure you're looking good make sure that you're giving yourself the best shots in life just ensure that you're taking care of, of yourself ensure that you're getting your grooves back and all together you're just looking lovely you're looking so good regardless of the emotional trouble you're presently you know going through so the last thing you have to do in order to um get over a breakup quickly is to allow yourself to heal properly i know a lot of people just want to rush through this process like once they're done with the guy or they're done with the lady they just want to quickly rush over the whole process and then get into another relationship no this is not the time for you to rush into another relationship no this is the time for you to heal properly and healing takes a lot of time grieving might come to an end you might stop grieving but healing itself takes longer than grieving itself do you understand healing takes longer than grieving so please ensure that you give yourself enough time to heal from that relationship you don't want to become a bitter person because if you don't heal properly you become bitter you won't become better so you want to be a better person you don't want to be a bitter person so ensure that you heal properly take enough time take enough time to heal don't rush through the process of healing please don't rush through the healing process a lot of people just want to breeze out of the healing process and if you do 
you would have lasting scars you would always have lasting scars that would refuse to heal if you don't give yourself enough time to heal so please ensure that you give yourself enough time to heal healing takes a lot of time don't rush through it you have to be patient enough to heal properly you know before you go into another relationship don't rush to go into another relationship because you would transfer all the aggression to the next person you'll be in a relationship with so just take your time and while you're taking your time while you're healing have a lot of fun work on yourself develop yourself rebuild yourself learn new skills take new courses travel around the world if you can afford to visit new places so just get your groups back and that will be all you would need in order to you know get over a breakup quickly i hope i've given you enough tips that would help you you know scale through this grieving process properly you know tips that will help you to you know get over this outbreak as fast as you as you want and i just believe that these tips overall would help you you know find a new life even after this nasty breakup if you have other tips that would help anybody going through a heartbreak please drop them in the comment section i would really love to read from you whatever tips you have that would help whoever just suffered a breakup to heal properly please just drop them in the comment section i'll be reading thank you so much guys for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel please endeavor to subscribe and please click on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever i put up videos on my channel please give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye